He rose to prominence when his 1996 film, Magic Temple, became a box office success. He also became one of the Philippines' lead directors after the critical success of his later films. He is none other than Eric Mati. Welcome to Film Talks, and today we are going to break down the top 7 films of Eric Mati. Number 7. Gagamboy Juni is an ice cream vendor who accidentally swallows a spider, thus giving him web-slinging abilities and becoming Gagamboy. Meanwhile, his rival Dodoy unintentionally eats a sandwich with a cockroach in it. Dodoy collapses only to regain consciousness as a large roach named Ipisman. Gagamboy and Ipisman will fight over Liana, the girl that they both love. Gagamboy might not be a box office hit, but the style and wit of this film is very unique. Number 6. Exodus In a world ravaged by war, mankind's fate rests on the reluctant shoulders of only one man. Exodus is a grim and unsmiling mercenary who must lead the survivors to an enchanted land. In his journey, he must ally with the Aswang, the Capre, the Diwata, and the Santelmo. The film was part of the Metro Manila Film Festival 2005 and won the award for Best Cinematography, Best Production Design, Best Visual Effects, and so on. It's surely one of the hidden film gems in the fantasy genre. Number 5. Kubut A family of bloodthirsty monsters descends on a city to take revenge on the man that caused the death of so many of their own. Kubot is part of the Eswang Chronicles and is a sequel to our number 4 film. Number 4. Tik Tik Makoy, a soon-to-be father, is suddenly forced to protect his pregnant wife from an onslaught of hungry Aswang monsters. He must not just fight for his love, but fight for their very survival when they run into trouble with a group of gypsies who transform into Tik Tik. The Tik Tik are basically horrific, man-eating creatures with a taste for newborn children and a hunger for revenge. The film won Best Visual Effects in the 10th Golden Screen Awards. Number 3. Honor Thy Father The film is about a family who find themselves in a Ponzi scheme. Edgar and Kay seek to pay their family's debt to Kay's co-parishioners. The couple fear that the parishioners may hurt their daughter. The film got 5 awards in the 41st Metro Manila Film Fest, including, and unsurprisingly, the Best Director Award. Number 2. Seclusion In 1947, a group of deacons on their last week of training are sent to a remote convent to live in seclusion for 7 days. In the midst of their seclusion, a little girl named Angela, believed by locals to be a living saint because of her healing abilities, is sent to the convent seeking refuge. But as time goes on, the deacons are confused whether Angela is an angel or an agent of the devil. The film garnered 9 awards in the Metro Manila Film Festival 2016. And as usual, it includes the Best Director Award. Number 1. On the Job on the Job is a Filipino crime thriller inspired by a real-life scandal in which prison inmates are temporarily released from prison to work as contract killers on behalf of politicians and high-ranking military officials. Due to the film's success, a sequel and a series will be produced. The film is exciting as well as intriguing. It's a story about lives connected in one conspiracy behind the law. On the Job is a heavy story that consistently delivers. There goes our top 7 Eric Mati films. Do you have other films that we haven't mentioned in this list? Share it through our comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos and updates. I'm Captain Mike and this is Film Talks. FG Studios.